hey y'all welcome back to the channel it's your girl ebony nicole back again with another video y'all it's back to which way is it gonna go cooking with ev we in the chat y'all so i got some things to say because i keep looking at the view oh um sorry i was trying to preheat the oven but i got some beef because it's really my fault so i can't blame anybody but i forgot to skip the week on hello fresh so therefore i have some meals to cook um kind of bummed because that costs money but you know it's neither here nor there one day the youtube videos will be able to just give me that money back so it's a blessing for the future that's what we're gonna call it an investment for the future there we go so today we have the parmesan crusted chicken with creamy lemon tomato and philadelphia cream i lied creamy lemon tomato spaghetti and philadelphia cream cheese y'all that looks stupid get into it it's giving yes honey it's giving so shout out to deb i actually did another cooking video but i didn't like how it came out so we just scratched it off so shout out to deb for commenting on the last um cooking video and saying that i should do a um just a real time talk instead of a uh voice over so that's what we're gonna do in this video to see what it's given and y'all let me know if y'all rock with the voice over or if you rock with the real time talk so for the real time talk i feel like i have to have like everything out before i start because usually i could just like zoom past everything but we're gonna get started yeah i know look i got my plate out and everything ready child who ready to eat me so we're gonna start by propping y'all up. Okay, we stand right there. Y'all know how I get down. I like to go ahead and wash my hands first. Put my good old antibacterial hand soap because her. And while I'm here, I'm gonna make sure I clean out this sink of all the soap. And go ahead and rinse my chicken off. Hopefully y'all gonna go ahead and rinse my chicken off as well I'm gonna go ahead and crack this bad boy open and then before I even touch that I'm gonna go ahead you know it comes with a little bag of everything it said to go ahead and um, wash all the produce that's in the bag or all the pro produce that's given so the only other produce I have two Roma tomatoes Maybe I should have showed y'all this beforehand, but y'all can see. Two Roma tomatoes. It's kind of soft. <laughs> I don't know why it's tripping. It's not wanting to focus on my stuff. So anyway, we got two Roma tomatoes, a package of sour cream, <sighs> some two packs of Parmesan cheese, the panko breadcrumbs, we have the Dijon mustard, clove of garlic, a lemon okay cola vita baby the spaghetti oh, in this bag good lord this one little pack of sour cr i mean cream cheese i don't know if this gonna do it cream cheese and then the fry seasoning has paprika garlic and onion powder um so that is it that's all the contents in the bag i'm gonna go ahead and put um the specific stuff in the areas where i know it needs to be so the fry seasoning over there, the panko breadcrumbs over there as well. And the pasta can go over here. I'm gonna go ahead in that pan right there, that pot right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in it. Well, you know what, I lied, I ain't gonna do that yet. I lied. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, let me see, let me get a little plastic plate out. A paper plate. I'm gonna go ahead and put a paper towel with some, I mean a plate with some paper towel over here on the other side. And I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this chicken and go ahead and let it uh, dry out on that side, on that paper towel, excuse me. Oh, we're gonna have to butterfly these a little bit cause baby, 
Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I lied. Y'all know I like to go ahead and use the bag that they gave me as my trash bag. All trash goes in there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean, wash off this chicken. I didn't want to grab this, but I'm gonna grab it. I'll bleach everything else later. And as far as my tomatoes, oh, that water cold. That's why I got cold water on. I'm going to just rinse those off. Place these on this clean paper towel over here. Rinse that off too. Everything's rinsed off and waiting for me. So per the instructions, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the tomato into half inch thick slices. And it said to also toss it with the um, piece of garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those up. I'm gonna cut it in half. And then in fourths, we'll do each fourth into a half. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these into my little bowl here. <clears throat> Slide on the little sleepy. All right, miss one. Okay, there we go. Got the skin off. <clears throat> so you either grate or um, chop the garlic. So I'm just gonna chop it. What am I using with? What am I doing with the rest of the garlic? <clears throat> Okay, so only half of the garlic is for the tomatoes and then the other half is gonna be for the pasta, um, fishing, finishing off the pasta. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of it up. How y'all been today? <clears throat> y'all cooking is so therapeutic to me. Like, I love following instructions about something and it coming out tasting good. Hello Fresh be having me feel like a whole chef, sweetie. Cause period. <clears throat> so I am going to add those in half of that garlic in with the um, tomatoes. It says with a drizzle of olive oil. And to add some salt and pepper. Okay, that was a little, little sh heavy on the pepper. Got those in there and I'm just gonna shake it together. I let it marinate for a little bit until I get my chicken together because they're both going in the oven at the same time. So we're just gonna shake it, shake it, shake it. We're gonna move this out the way and bring the chicken over this way. So now we're gonna make the pink, the pan panko. We're gonna mix all of this, half of the fry seasoning, and one pack of the Parmesan cheese with it. And Uh, it says a tablespoon of olive oil. Uh, we not finna use this. We just finna eye it. Okay. And then you are to season with salt and pepper. Salt. I mean pepper. Salt. And just gonna get a spoon out of here. And mix it together. Probably need to mix it so that that oil can get into it. Yeah, get into it. Okay. So got that nice little mixture in there. And this is what's going to go on top of the chicken. <clears throat> so it can be Parmesan crusty, baby. Purr. So now... Got the chicken here. It's more light right here. Okay, I'm gonna try to stand out the way. All right, so now we got the chicken here. Just gonna pat it dry as much as we can. Oh, Jesus. Okay, thank you if you said bless me. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna take this fry seasoning and finish it all over. And I'm also gonna take out some garlic powder and onion powder of my own. 
because I don't think that this is enough. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna do the remaining. All right, don't y'all worry. I'm gonna get the other side, relax, to kind of kind of shake it on that one and kind of do like that just so I don't kind of lose none of that seasoning and it's actually on a paper towel but it's cool <clears throat> Kind of pat that into the chicken and let that just sit there for one second <clears throat> while I make the uh, I put this over to the side. I'm gonna wash my hands too. I need another smaller bowl, but I'm just gonna use this plastic cup because we get really than real over here. So, in this, I'm gonna mix the Dijon mustard and the sour cream, and this is going to go on top of the um chicken so that the panko mixture can stick <clears throat> so just gonna stick put now in there All right, so the oven is already preheated. So this is the pan that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna place a little bit of this plant butter. Don't worry, this plant butter is good. I think it's made, I think it's olive oil plant butter. So I'm just gonna place one here for one piece of chicken and then one here for the other piece of chicken. I'm gonna put it right there. Let me pick it back up. Yep, yeah, right there. And then the other one right here. And we're gonna take the mixture and put it on top evenly on each one. Like I have a crock pot too, y'all, and I gotta find some recipes that's gonna be mixed. Um coming up to see what I can make in a crock pot. If y'all see any crock pot meals out there, um, send them to me on Instagram or either uh, put the link down in the, the note, the comment, but say in the notes, jeez. Put it down in the comments and let me know. So now I'm gonna take all of this mixture and place it whoop, onto the chicken and press it into it as well so that it, this made a lot. And now we're gonna put the, I'm gonna put these, that little piece of, uh, get all the garlic out. We're just gonna kinda spread those out and put this piece of butter on top. And the oven was to be uh, preheated to 425 and it's already knocked down to uh, 350. So that should be good. It's to cook for 15 to 20 minutes. Y'all, it's starting to smell so good. Uh, oh, I wish y'all could smell this. Like Emerald Lagasse said, I wish you had smell of vision. So while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this burner on. about what is it on about between four i mean three and five I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in it so that it can fill up for the pasta i'm gonna try to do this with one hand y'all gonna be a little shaky but it's gonna be okay y'all still rocking with kids so 
they say you want to cook the pasta for nine to ten minutes nine to eleven minutes or until it's al dente usually i throw my pasta against the wall i've seen that as a hack y'all carrying this with one hand is not fun all right so what i'm gonna put y'all put y'all on top of here all right there we go so i'm gonna put some salt in this pan and let it come to a boil. And then once it boils, I'll go ahead and put the pasta in and then let it cook. And then um, everything should kind of be done around the same time. So after I do the pasta, then I'm going to be back. And then I gotta mix the pasta with uh, some butter, garlic, and the cream cheese and some lemon. And yeah, okay, all right, I'll be back. So I got the chicken and the, um, tomatoes on 275 I just lowered the temperature just so that um, it was still warm y'all gonna get a lot of steam I can't do that over here anyway I think my pasta is about done or is done al dente and this is what I mean when I if y'all don't know how to make sure your pasta is done this is how you do it. I forgot where I learned this hack from. It might have been from Snapchat Life Hacks. I'm not going to hold you because I don't even remember. But I'm just looking for one single piece. Y'all, it's taking me so long to fish one little piece out. Okay. So we got one piece out. And we ah, it's stuck. So it's done. <laughs> so we're going to throw that one away. And then I'm going to take the water, take the pasta, and I'm going to turn the pot down on low, and I'm going to drain it. So it says to reserve a fourth cup of the water. Um, Yikes. Did it go? It went down already? Dang. Hold on. Yeah, I don't have a strainer. That's one thing I don't have. So I'm going to do it the way I know how. I'll put the pasta on a plate so I can make the sauce. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn the, the oven off. So it can just be... Um, Kind of just cooling off, not cooling off, but okay. What am I trying to do? So in this pot, let me get this thing now. In this pot, we're gonna add some butter, let it melt down, and the remaining garlic. And you do this and let it uh, do its thing until it gets fragrant. Supposed to zest the lemon. I don't have a zester either, but that's okay. It's okay. It's cool. So I'm just gonna add in the lemon juice, and then add in more lemon juice towards the end. <clears throat> so that is doing its thing over here. Lucky cream cheese is the best. Like the store brands don't compare. Squeeze the lemon in. So we're just waiting for that cream cheese to melt down. Okay. And then just going to stir that all up together. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Wait, is this how they make Alfredo? Y'all, literally that was a good question because uh, nobody asked that but me, but this really smells like, it smells like Alfredo, OMG. So now I'm gonna take out my chicken and tomatoes and add the tomatoes to the pot. 
So now I'm just going to get these tomatoes that's over here and add them in. And then we're just going to toss it all up together. And because I'm extra, I'm gonna put a little bit, I melt a little bit of the Parmesan cheese in there. Cause they never said I couldn't, but it's for garnish. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna turn this pot off and take it off the eye and then go ahead and plate and I will be back. Here are the final results. Y'all, it smells so freaking good. So focus, cause we gotta get the people what they need. Take a little lemon wedge and you can put it on your chicken or you can put it on your pasta. The pasta is already lemony. So um, that's at your discretion if you would want more or not. All right. My neighbors are so loud. Like, it's ridiculous at this point. Let me taste the pasta by itself. Oh, that's five. Oh, that's five, five. Y'all know what it is. I gotta go, <laughs> cause I'm hungry now. So, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. The next one will be these. The beef and cheese tostadas with green bell peppers, tomato salsa, and hot sauce crema. So excited about that. Um, And the thing with this box too, I I didn't know until yesterday that I was getting the box. What's today? I told a lie. I didn't know until Sunday that I was getting the box and it was delivered yesterday, which was Monday, December the 28th. Um, so therefore, I didn't get to really choose what I wanted. So like I said, they give you two automatic meals um, as to choose. So like if you don't really care and you already give them like your preference of what you want, like my preference is... Uh, meat and vegetables send you meals that have meat and veggies or at least the meat so like this have pasta and meat so I'm not against it so I don't know if this is something that I would have chose to do or not so maybe it was good that I didn't know so definitely skip the rest of the weeks because I don't have time anyway make sure you like comment and subscribe that is going to be the next meal but let me know if y'all have any other ideas like I said I want to pull out the crock pot and see what it's going to give. So if you have any crock pot meals out there, let me know. Or any other type of meals y'all want me to cook, let me know. Or that you've tried yourself that's good and you want me to try. Because, honey, y'all know I likes to eat because Periana. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.